Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at one of my personal guitars. This is a PRS uh, Zach Myers Semi Hollow Body in Trampas Green. Uh, it's an SE, which means it's under a thousand dollars because the luthier made PRSs uh, tend to be uh, somewhere over three thousand dollars. Anyway. This is one of my main guitars. Uh, whenever I'm playing a gig where I'm going to have to kind of go back and forth between jazz and rock and pop, uh, this is a guitar I like to take because it it can get all of those sounds pretty easily. It's a very simple guitar, two pickups, three pickup settings, two tones, two volumes. As usual, when we, uh, when we test a guitar, everything's wide open. So that's the way you'll hear it today. Um, it's just, you know, I've taken pretty good care of it. I don't think there's any buckle rash or anything. It looks pretty much brand new. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't feel any roughness at all. Um, uh, I get a lot of compliments on this guitar. That it just, it really kind of jumps out at you when you take it out of the case. And uh, you can see the the body is uh, probably basswood, maybe ash. Um, very stout, heavy, rigid body. Uh, lots of lovely details. This little cutaway right here where they kind of contour it for you to get in there if you need to is a very nice detail of PRS guitar. So, um, I believe this is a 24 fret because it's got the owl. And uh, I think this may be an ebony fingerboard. It, it looks like it to me, and it has that kind of rigidity. Um, all you kind of geeks, will, uh, you, know, you can go look it up if you want to. <clears throat> For me, you know, it's, once I start playing it, and it's what I need and what I want. I don't really question too much anymore. But uh, over the years, I really have liked guitars with ebony fingerboards better than rosewood. And that's probably more a matter of perception than anything else. But ebony just has a very positive feel of it when you're, when you're playing. So your fingers come down and there's no give whatsoever to the fingerboard. And... Uh, my BC Rich that I played for many, many years uh, had an ebony fingerboard, and I just I grew to like them because of that. So um, <clears throat> we're already tuned up, and we're in our sexy guitar background uh, set that Leo's been working on for the past couple of weeks with his son Patrick. And uh, we're just going to run through the pickups first, like we normally do, and. Uh, then we'll, we'll play something for it in a minute. So, uh, here's the neck pickup. Pick up. 
of the pickups. Um, what else can I say about this guitar? That's like I told you, it's one of my favorites. Um, when I'm doing, you know, just a kind of uh, casual commercial gig and I don't know what I'm going to end up playing, so I might play some jazz tunes at the beginning and some disco in the middle and some rock at the end. Um, because I don't like to carry a bunch of guitars if I can help it because I'm getting old. Uh, this is the guitar I generally show up with. Um, and uh, it's never let me down yet, so uh, there is that. So uh, I'm Dan Ryan, Leo Ryan's behind the camera. We're going to uh, stop here for a minute. Uh, obviously the guitar is already tuned up. Uh, it's another nice thing about it. It pretty much stays in tune. Last time I took it out, I hadn't played it for probably close to two years and it was still pretty much in tune when I took it out of the case. So that's helpful. So uh, we're gonna stop now and uh, come back and play a little something for you and uh, see you in a minute, thanks. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Welcome back to our Den of Iniquity with the uh, flashing disco lights. <coughs> and uh, I neglected to say or avoided saying I've never reviewed this guitar on the channel, but I had played it once on the channel when I basically sandbagged Leo and Two Bike Mike on the uh, Europa ch Challenge, which that is still the one and only time I've ever played Europa. It took about an hour to learn it. Uh, lovely song. And uh, to keep with that theme, we're going to do a Sebastian Zunino backing track. That's just called Santana Latin Groove in C minor. And so here we go.
Hey folks, Dan Ryan. So today we were reviewing my uh, PRS Zach Myers semi hollow body uh, PRS SE in Trampas Green. This is the guitar and uh, just played something for you and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we hope that you will like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. And thanks for tuning in. I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan's behind the camera. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, folks. By the way, everybody, uh, we have Patrick to thank for uh, installing all the uh, guitar wall and and uh, LED light strips and everything that we, uh, are the upgrades to the studio. So we'd like to thank Patrick for that. And thanks. I've only bumped my head on the Schechter Demon three times. So far today. <laughs>